McMinnville High School is preparing for an important guest. Education Secretary Betsy DeVos will visit the school tomorrow. KGW's Tim Gordon is live in McMinnville this afternoon. Tim, DeVos is not without controversy. No, she's not, Brenda, and so you can expect some protesting during her visit tomorrow. School administrators hope it does not get in the way of showing her the good things happening at this school. Betsy DeVos, the billionaire who's never been a professional educator, with a history of pushing for privatization over public education. And since becoming education secretary, some controversial decisions, including lessening LGBTQ rights and relaxing rules for handling sexual abuse cases on college campuses. She's coming to McMinnville High School on what appears to be a listening tour. Her opponents may have something to say. They're organizing on Facebook to protest. The district safety manager says that's fine off campus. It'll be a safe event. All, all we ask is for people to uh, respect, you know, the students' safety and, and uh, the fact that they're here to learn and go to school and, you know, not be bothered. DeVos is set to tour the high school for about an hour. It's been picked because good things are happening in closing achievement gaps, graduation rates, and hands-on learning. DeVos will get a look at the school's Engineering and Aerospace Sciences Academy, an example of connecting learning to careers. Superintendent Mary Alice Russell says it's all about excellence in education. And the most important thing we can do is share the knowledge and the experiences we've gained to help students be successful. And anything we can do to share that information with someone else, regardless of their position or their belief systems, I think will help them shape their own decisions and, and future uh, beliefs about education. Now, DeVos is set to be here at 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Protesters could be out here on the sidewalk, but the district is asking that people just not get in the way of students coming and going. The school district, local law enforcement, and also the U.S. Marshal's Office, all involved in security for the secretary's visit.